This is my number one mushroom. It's my absolute favorite. I love all of them in this genus, but this specifically is my number one mushroom. I'll cut this baby and show it to you. And some of you guys might be familiar with the other species. This one is bear's head tooth. A lot of people just call it the bear's head mushroom. It's a heresium. It is related to the lion's mane mushroom, which is heresium aranesia. But this is heresium americanus, the bear's head tooth. One of the distinguishing features of not just this particular mushroom, but the rest of the heresium species, which is lion's mane, coral tooth, and this one, which is bear's head tooth, is this structure right here is icicle-like and it points downward. All of these species grow on wood and the distinguishing feature is that it grows on wood. It's white. The inside of the mass of the fruiting body is white on all three species, bear's head, lion's mane, and coral tooth. With the coral mushroom, these Structures grow upward, but on heresium species, there'll be an icicle-like structure that points downward. Those are the easy distinguishing features that separate one genus from the next. But bear's head tooth, this is a small one and it's super dry, so I don't suspect that it's going to get any bigger. I have no problem taking this one home and eating it. It's my favorite mushroom. The mushroom I just got to show you guys, Heresium americanus, or bear's head, I compared to the other Heresiums and explained that it had an icicle structure that pointed downwards and grows on wood and really varies from the coral fungus. And over the years, I've heard a lot of people suggest that Heresium looks like coral, but it doesn't. Uh, when you see the two side by side, it really doesn't. Now the bear's head that I just showed you, a lot of times can resemble this beautiful face of a waterfall. Different tiers of water coming down. And of course it grows on wood and it has the icicles that hang down like I just showed you. And this would be a coral tooth. Now this can look really feathery and long, or it can be bundled up in a ball. But it isn't solid palm-palm shape like lion's mane is, or heresium aranesia. This is heresium coriolodes, which is the coral tooth. And you can see it's airy, and it has icicles that point down, but it's also got these coral-like tentacles. And sometimes it can really sprawl out and really resemble coral. But it has the same icicle structures that, that hang down when it grows on wood. And at times it really truly resembles coral when it has that feathery appearance. Now this is just in a condensed ball, but it is quite airy. Whereas lion's mane or heresium aranesia, which I'll show you also in this video, is palm palm shaped and pretty much solid. So the bear's head has the waterfall cascading appearance and the coral tooth has a coral appearance 
and lion's mane has a palm palm appearance. And all of them have these icicle shapes like you've seen on bear's head. And I don't know whether the camera's picking it up here, but they face downward. And then when we look at coral, of course, which is an entirely different genus of mushroom, these structures point upward. Let's have a look at lion's mane. One of my favorite mushrooms. It is relatively common, but it's hard to find because usually it's high up in the trees. It's really easy to identify, and what makes it easy to identify are these icicles. Now, there are a couple other species of heresium that have the same icicle structure. There's Heresium americanum, which is the bear's head tooth, and Heresium coriolotes, which we call the comb tooth, and sometimes it's called the coral tooth. This is lion's mane, Heresium internitia, and it's pom-pom shaped usually, and grows high on wood. And the real distinguishing difference between lion's mane and any of the coral species is that these icicles always flow downward, whereas on coral they flow upward. Pretty easy mushroom to identify and is absolutely delicious. You can use a crab cakes recipe and just superimpose lion's mane for the crab. They're delicious, they're one of my favorites. This one, we had to stack two painter's poles on top of one another to reach it. Which, during September and October, here in southern Michigan, when Dawn and I hunt lion's mane, we typically carry for a walking stick an extendable painter's pole, which helps. It helped us get this one. Easy mushroom to identify. Lion's mane. Yeah. Palm palm shaped. Icicles point downward. Heavy mushroom. Smells citrusy, smells like heaven.